hello everyone it's me asmri welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial in illustrator today i'll show you this type of logo that means i just uh, draw this one and after that i made it in a vector form so how to do that you have to at first draw your logo in a notebook or notepad whatever it is and then you have to take a snap with your phone and just transfer it in your pc after that go to the file and take a new options I'm just taking an artboard which is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel height and width and after that which photo I got from my phone and I will just take it in this artboard and then we'll do other works. So let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Then I'm going to the file and place embedded options. This photo I just transferred with my uh, like uh, airdrop from the phone and place it out in this portion and after that in this artboard i'll just fit with this artboard and then just lock it up before that you have to make the opacity down of this one and after that just lock it up so after that take a new layer to work with that you can do two types of techniques one is for the pen tool and another one is the golden ratio circles so i'll show you two things in this tutorial and at first i'll show you how to work with the pen tool at first press p from the keyboard you'll get the pen tool and you can work with that if you want to get the basic of the pen tool you have to learn about the pen tool basic so i'm just showing you the basic like that so here pen tool you can just Keep the anchor point over here and you can just place another anchor point if you draw or drag that slider or the portion it will be curved so this one is the main technique of the paint tool and here make sure that the fill color is off only the stroke color is on and then just placing in an anchor point and just dragging to make it curve and place return to end and select once here it will make again in a like joint and then draw it like that so you have to practice it more to learn the pen tool or if you know how to work with the pen tool you can do work with that so i'm just ending the anchor point and making it like that okay fine upper portion is done now lower portion so i'm working with this now our work is ready so i'm taking this one beside this and then this portion is not smooth properly how to make it properly smooth select this one and here is smooth tool this one and make it smooth properly it will be smooth and this one as well select the smooth tool over here and making it smooth so after that you can give the gradient over here so I'm making here the gradient like this so you can work with that and you have to make the stroke turn off so this one is the paint tool technique now I'll show you the circle technique circle technique is more accurate than the paint tool technique just because of here is maintained the golden ratio of the logo that's why circle is more you know, like reliable and accurate than the paint tool so how to do that let's see at first go to the shape tool and here the ellipse tool that means the circle draw the circle like this before that you have to turn off the fill color give the stroke color for the prominent okay fine this one is the circle or uh, here i make it color like this okay now i'll give the circle or make the circle like reduce 1 by 6 or 1.6 for the golden ratio measurement so i'm selecting this one ctrl c or ctrl f for the copy another copy and here make sure that link is like selected and then press the divide button and 1.6 if you divide that value it will give you another circle like this so same process ctrl c and ctrl f and making the value divide by 1.6 and giving you like that ctrl c and ctrl f and again 1.6 and ctrl c and ctrl f divide by 1.6 so you are getting this type of 
which will help you out to make the guideline of this logo so how to use that guideline select the circle like this so this circle press the alter option button you can make it make copy of that circle it will this big circle will be like this or you can use that circle make sure that the lines are uh, properly overlapped otherwise you can't cut out from one to other so how to do that you have to go to the view options and turn off the snap to pixel press ctrl or command y and make it zoom you will find out the line is properly match or join with each other if not please make it join like that ctrl y or command y selecting all the circles shift them for the pathfinder tool and just make it shape like that so if you want to get another color uh, turn off the stroke give the fill color like blue okay fine just select once it will give you this type of things and the rest of the thing you can delete so select all the rest of the circles and delete the, those things and now we'll take care of the beneath one so select this one okay fine just selecting this before that we need a bigger circle to make it like this so that's fine select all the portions shift time for the shape builders tool here you can make this one like that so taking another color okay fine here i'm giving this color okay that's good other portion just make it delete now where logo is partially ready and turning off the stroke fine and turning off the background and after that we'll do work with the uh, like other stuff like gradient and other things so this portion we left just uh, making this one and making it like march with the pathfinder tool so selecting two things actually and then pathfinder tool and if you have doubt to not uh, this one properly smooth use the smooth tool to make it more smooth that's good and now just making it another copy of this select two things shift m and delete this portion you're getting two portion over here and same process press the alter option button and make it a little bit down of this and select these two things shift m and delete this portion and properly join okay fine here uh, the another portion is left to make it fill color select the blue one and make it match and make it like this type of blue that's good now time to add the gradient how to do that so here is the gradient palette or i'll just bring this gradient in this window and i'll provide you that gradient download link in my video detail I'm making it ungroup and select these two things press i from the color picker and then another one i'll make it reverse so how to do that this one and same process press i from the i picker and select uh, another one and make it reverse like that and press v so you're getting this type of logo so you can make it more perfect if you do practice at home and make it lots of practice like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section please check out my video description about the gradient download link or other stuff stay at home stay safe until the next video i am a7 sending out today bye bye